Oh my god. No, oh, I kid, I kid. I'm not getting in an accident. There's not even no cars anywhere near. That's my little intro right there. For the oh. But there's a skunk. Someone hit a skunk right now. I smell a skunk. That's stinky. That ever happened to you where, where you're just driving and you just smell skunk on the road? It's nasty. But anyway, I'm heading out to NTC again today. much gonna happen. Got a class later tonight at 4 o'clock. Not 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. My advanced.net class. And I got work study that begins at 3. So, looking forward to that. I'm also going to try to follow up with my internship opportunity at the county. I'm going to see what happens with that. And if I can't do that, then I'm going to follow through with the, with an internship with NTC and I can do that so that's what's up here's a different view that what is normal showing this because it's actually raining today that you can see it on it's raining it's not snowing not slushing it's raining it's getting a little warmer but this is the first time Long time, I think that it's actually rain. I just hope that we don't get no more snow. I mean, we've already had quite enough of it now. But this is the route that I take home normally. I take home to NTC also, vice versa. So, it's not really that, that hard, but it's good enough to start melting a little bit of snow. Heading home a little bit early tonight. It's almost uh, seven, uh, seven o'clock. Usually I leave a little bit later because I stay at NTC. I kind of work on some stuff, and that's what I kind of plan on doing tonight. I was going to maybe work on a few of my programs, but heading home a little early this time because my dad at home back in Catawba just called the campus to let me know that he had some problems with his car. He just found out that he was leaking some and some brake fluid and he almost took the ditch. Thankfully he didn't, but I had to go pick up some uh, brake fluid for him and I have to bring it back home for him because he's going to be taking my sister somewhere to Park Falls. Fuck I know. There's a whole nother situation with that. I can talk about that later with my regarding my sister. But she has to be at Pat Park Falls at a certain time. My father is going to be leaving at like was going to be leaving at 8:30, so I have to have have it there to him by then. So I'm I'm, I'm just going to talk to Lace because I don't want to draw too much attention. I mentioned that before in my previous video. But yeah, so. I just don't want to see anyone get in an accident or anything like that, so I'm just going to go pick up some uh, brake fluid from my gas station, so I don't know exactly what, if I'm going to be able to find it at the gas station or not. Brake fluid, I mean, seems like something that you would find at a gas, at a gas station. I don't know, though. I know what it is. Hey, I'm also looking for like a little uh, a jingle that I could use in, in the intro of my videos. I, I've been trying to find something. I don't want to have to pay any royalties to use use anything like that, and I don't want to get my account banned for using using the a, a, a jingle or anything like that that I haven't given that I haven't got the rights to use. So I'm looking for that, some some kind of free jingle that I could use. I don't know. I, I looked on a few sites. I found a few things, but uh, it seems like I have to pay like some kind of one-time fee to actually download and use them. So that, I don't really want to do that. I don't. I don't make no money whatsoever on these YouTube videos, so I don't want to have to pay any money to to use them in there. I make no money. I shouldn't have to pay any money. So. I mean, if anyone knows, like, any uh, sites that I can get some free jingles from, or maybe make some, 
put your uh, comments in the video below because I'm, I'm, I'm keeping on the watch. And hey, hey, if anyone maybe wants to know, knows how to create a jingle or maybe wants to work with me on, on creating one, no, I'm definitely down for that. I don't want a very long one. I want something that's really, really, really short, maybe like five seconds long that I could quickly put right in my in my video along with like a little uh, a title screen of, of what, my, what it'll be called. So really short jingle, but really something really catchy, nice. So uh, and something appropriate too that would go with the with the um, vlogging vlogging whatever you want to call it so I'm here at the uh, BP now I want to see if they got some great food you got that awkward situation when you go into a gas station and then you're, you're buying food containers of great fluid and then you go up to the counter to put, make the purchase and the lady looks at you funny like no you are seriously not go driving she makes the assumption that my brakes are bad so I had to explain to her that no these are not for me these are th these are for my father because he has no brake fluid at all so we had a little giggle at that it was kind of funny but yeah, I, I expected that. I, I, I knew that was coming before I even went to the counter and I, I, was, I was prepared for that situation. Home with it now. 
about halfway home and there's a car behind me. It's making me really nervous. I hope it's not a cop. But since we're talking about vehicles, I'll share some information that I am willing to, to share. Um, there's a time that I had a problem with my car. I was driving to Green Bay one time uh, for like a campus visit of the ITT Institute of Technical Instant I can't technical technology something like that. I can't remember what that names mean. But I was going there and I was coming back and I realized my car was low on antifreeze. So that kind of concerned me a little bit. And that was like a short time after I actually purchased my car from a, a personal, a, from a private dealer uh, on Craigslist. I mentioned before that I didn't. Oh shit, come on. They moved around. I mentioned before that I don't have a problem with Craigslist and I don't. I don't got no problem with it because I deal locally. I don't really do anything special or big on with it. I mean, as long as you stick to those rules, you 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 deal locally. You you deal with cash. You ain't gonna have no problem. It's it's pretty much just like uh, online uh, newspaper service. You know, you, you, it's just a way for people to put their things on there. I had some issues before in the past. I actually posted like uh, a thing on my about my computer to sell it, and I had like some guy from freaking Washington email me back. He was like, "Hey, do you, can, do you think you can have it shipped all the way to here in Washington?" Washington State, not Washington D.C., but this guy wanted it shipped there, and he said he'd be working through, I can't remember what it was, some some service like PayPal, but it's not PayPal, Western Union, that was it, he wanted the money, he, wanted, he was going to uh, wire the money through Western Union. No way, I knew that I wasn't doing that. I emailed them back, I told them, no way, I'm not selling it, I'm not shipping it out at all, and I'm not doing Western Union. You got, I told him that either he has someone here that'd be willing to pick it up, or he has to come and pick it up himself. Other than that, I, I haven't sold the computer at all. That's the only issue I've ever had with Craigslist. And it wasn't even that big of one. It was, it was kind of unrelated to Craigslist. It's just some, some fucking retard that thought he could be able to scam me. And actually, recently, that same guy, uh, he emailed me back. I think he must have forgot who I was or something. And he was fucking like speaking in a stupid language. He actually like started chatting with me on like Google Chat because he had Gmail and I had Gmail. Uh, it still like remembered us as like communicating with with each other and he was like his fucking his language was like, was, like very broken up and I couldn't understand him. But uh, it wasn't speaking, it was chatting, it was, it was like really broken English, like really bad grammar, but I think he was basically asking if I could send money to him, no fucking way, I, I blocked him, so now he, he, I hope he doesn't fucking figure out a way to get back on me, or email me with any more fucking spam or junk, but anyway, I kind of got off point a little bit, I know. Getting back to the point about my car, coming back from Green Bay, I noticed that it uh, didn't have any antifreeze and I was losing antifreeze fast. And I kept on putting antifreeze back into my car and it, it, it keep on running out. I had a problem, I knew that there was some kind of leak, I couldn't find it. I brought it to my mechanic and he discovered that, there, that the antifreeze was leaking into the intake of the engine. So, I mean, I had to get that taken care of. And it wasn't cheap, it was kind of expensive. And at that same time, I know I had some issues with my regarding my battery. So I had to buy a new battery. I had to buy new spark plugs. I had to get everything all taken care of. And, and at the end, it costed over 500 bucks. So that was really expensive that at that moment, but I had to get it taken care of. And 
that was one issue that I know that I had with my car. I had a few other issues with it, but, but that's the one I'm willing to share. So, we, uh, I had to go to Park Falls today to drop off my sister. Got my dad with me right now. Say hello. Hello. So, I had to go to Park Falls, drop off by a foster home. And now I'm driving back 